Hello YouTube viewers. Uh, today I wanted to make a quick video on charging problems on this uh, Chevy Volt. I looked on YouTube and honestly I couldn't find any solutions on what I should do. Uh, my problem was this car was not charging. I did not know why. I have a level two and a level one charger. I tried them both. What would happen is you'd plug it in and uh, the yellow light would go on and then instantly go off. And then the charger would flash and it, it would stop. And then there was completely a dead light. Now I've seen videos on YouTube of people saying, hey, um, this, uh, my, my car's doing this and doing that. And they don't really have an explanation. So I thought I'd shoot this video to show you what it is. Now I've had another problem with this car and now it has over 100,000 miles on it. And it's a typical problem with these Chevy Volts. And that is when you do get a, a error code for charging, um, you will get an error code and it will have a check engine light and an error code on the, on the dash if you, or excuse me, a check engine light. And if you put a scanner on it, it'll give you an error code. Now the, that, that uh, fix, has to do with the sensor right in here. Um, and that's a real cheap fix. You can go on eBay or whatever and get the part. And uh, the typical person that doesn't have a lot of mechanical um, knowledge can fix it themselves. Anyway, I did that already. Did that about a year ago. That solved that problem. But this is a unique problem. So I was like, well, what the hell did I do? So I brought it yesterday to the dealer. <clears throat> and like I said, I had no check error codes on this car. It just wouldn't charge. So I was like, okay, we're gonna drive this car just gas and I'm not gonna drive it gas. Um, and so, because uh, I'd like to have it charged. Um, so I did some research on it and it turns out that the problem is on these cars is if you take off, this is the level two that I have on there. Just put this cover back on for now. Um, what happens is this gets corroded, okay? You can replace this and there's videos on YouTube to do that, but what I did is took Q-tips like this, and I went in there carefully, and you know nothing on it at all, and cleaned it out. And all this black crud came over it. And here's the other one. As soon as I did that, <clears throat> um, uh, I plugged it in. Boom! I had a charger again. So uh, I was tickled that. Uh, that was the fix. The, the bad news is I had to spend almost $200. There it is, yellow, and it will be green. There you go, it works. Brought to the dealer, <clears throat> they couldn't figure it out, and uh, I had to pay the diagnostic fee, and they're like, well, we'll have to take apart the uh, front of the car and put a new module in it, and it's going to be at least a thousand dollars to do that <clears throat> and that <clears throat> and that may not fix it as well so i was pretty pissed off because i was like well um <clears throat> there has to be a solution to it this is a solution try this first before you put a dime into these cars um there's charging problems with these type of cars but uh, uh this is the one that worked for me again you can't have an error code this one again to um, summarize on it, it um, just wasn't charging. There was no check engine light, but there was a flashing point on the charger that says oh, it's not charging. So um, that's the fix. So I hope this helps out people um, and uh, get you on your way. Talk to you soon.